Welcome to What's New in OCI. On June 13th, we announced our plans to provide native generative AI services to help organizations automate end-to-end -end business processes, improve decision-making, and enhance customer experiences in collaboration with Cohere, a leading AI platform for enterprises. Built on OCI and leveraging our unique supercluster capabilities, Oracle Generative AI services will span applications to infrastructure and aim to provide the highest levels of security, performance, and value in the industry. Cohere will train, build, and deploy its generative AI models on OCI, and their language models will be embedded into our cloud application portfolio to enable customers to leverage generative AI in their existing business processes. OCI Generative AI, an upcoming AI service, will enable OCI customers to add generative AI capabilities to their own applications, and we will also embed generative AI capabilities into our database offerings in the same way we introduce machine learning features in Oracle Database and MySQL HeatWave. Check out the press release for more details regarding this exciting announcement. And speaking of AI, did you know that in order to build and train AI models efficiently with the best price performance, you need more than just a lot of GPUs? Working with AI means processing large volumes of data in clustered compute environments that require high performance, ultra low latency, and extreme bandwidth across the stack. All hyperscale cloud providers have GPU offerings, but Oracle has the only AI infrastructure with bare metal instances with GPUs which offer more isolation with no overhead from virtualization. OCI also offers more local storage, CPU cores, and CPU memory. While OCI costs as much as 22% less for individual instances, the differences between cloud providers are even more significant when it comes to clustered workloads. For more details on the comparison, check out the blogs in the links below. And that's all for me. Hey Mark, what else is new in OCI? Thank you, Shig. I've got two updates for you today. First up, I'm pleased to announce the launch into limited availability of our brand new E5 compute shapes powered by the fourth generation AMD Epic CPUs. E5 instances offer more CPU cores, greater performance per core, greater memory bandwidth, and increased storage capacity. Uh, we have customizable shapes, uh, including standard, HPC, and dense I.O. Uh, instances with AMD processors are already collectively saving our customers over $40 million a year because you can match and flex them to the demands of your workload rather than being stuck into rigid pre-configured options. If you're interested in that limited availability launch, you can check out the link in the show notes below. Next up, I'm pleased to announce the launch of our Graal VM free license. Yes, you heard that right. Graal VM for JDK 17 and JDK 20, which was previously Graal VM for Enterprise, is now free. Uh, so developers can download and use that Graal VM without needing a license agreement. Uh, if you don't know, Graal VM is a high-performance JDK that speeds up Java and JVM-based applications. It generates faster code and uses fewer resources. Again, you can check out the links for that in the show notes below. Now, over to Kenna. Thanks, Mark. I have three pieces of news today. First up, the launch of the OCI Toolkit for Visual Studio Code, or VS Code, which is a rich collection of OCI extensions that make it easier for you to develop, test, and deploy applications on OCI straight from VS Code. This OCI Toolkit offers quick start templates and other tools, supports end-to-end -end coding workflows for OCI services, including functions, resource manager, and data science, and seamlessly integrates with those services. Whether you're a seasoned developer or just starting with OCI development, the OCI Toolkit is designed to help you rapidly prototype cloud solutions, explore new services, and accomplish quick coding tasks right from VS Code. Next up, OCI has announced a new certification, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Digital Assistant Professional for 2023. For digital assistant developers, data science or machine learning engineers, or conversation designers, this learning path will teach you to build skills in digital assistance, employ conversational AI best practices, create robust training models and conversation flows, and much more. This certification is also included in our current Race to Certification, going on through August 31st, which gives you free access to learning paths and exam attempts. Check out the links below to join in. And to close, let's look at the launch of Oracle EU Sovereign Cloud, a hyperscale cloud that addresses data residency and sovereignty requirements in the European Union. Oracle EU Sovereign Cloud offers over 100 of the same cloud services that are available in all our cloud regions at the same simple, consistent rates. This independently managed cloud enables customers to build resilient applications that keep data within EU borders and can help digital transformation efforts across critical regulated industries, such as healthcare, financial services, telecommunications, and government. 
For more details, check out the blog post in the description below. That's all for this month. Be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll be back next month with a roundup of new news from OCI.